Haven't you always wanted to make a projector out of your phone? Well, now you can. Today on TJ How To's, we will be making a projector using your phone and a box. First thing you will need, obviously, is a box. A box, right here. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter what size, just. You can use a shoe box as well. But. Shoe box probably would work a bit better than what we have here, but yeah, because it's just about the same size, I guess, width of a phone. But mm -hmm. you also need a magnifying glass, the lens of the uh, projector. This yeah, is just a magnifying glass, so yeah, you don't have to have one that has like the handle or whatever. You can just have the magnifying glass. Yeah, itself. you know one of those things that you put on a piece of paper that you use to read to see the letters. Yeah, yeah. one of those things. You can use one of those as well. Okay, and then you also need duct tape. Yep. And something to mark around the magnifying glass on the box. Just like that. Yeah, we, we didn't want to really get up to get something, so mm -hmm. we just got it. You just got a marker. And you also need a, uh, a hot glue gun. We just, this is the same one that we used our last episode. The crossbow. You also need a knife, or you can use scissors, you don't have to use a hunting knife, but you, this is to cut the lens hole for uh, the magnifying glass in the box. Yep. Okay, well, I think that's it, right? Yeah, uh, yep. Okay, well, let's get let, to it. Yep. Okay. To start off, uh, well, actually, we forgot that obviously you will need your phone or iPod or something with a screen. Yeah, we're, we're, like, we're just using the regular Apple iPod. Yeah. Or <laughs> iPhone. I get, then again, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as it's roughly the same size as what we will we're be testing you. it out in this room on the wall over there. Yeah, we have white walls in this room, so it will work. Okay. It doesn't so, have to be white, it can just be like a plain wall. Yeah. It's, it's going to be good. And the room has white. to be dark when you do it, so... Yeah. And white walls do work better if you ever owned a projector, but it's fine. Now, first thing you want to do, you have the magnifying glass in the box. You have me the marker here, I'll hold the magnifying glass right there. You draw and around it. You just want to... I'll move this up. That's that. Yeah. And you just want to roughly make it, bring it down a smidge more, because remember, you have this on the actually uh, we'll be taping it up higher so this should be a good level okay and then you just want to uh, just trace around yeah the handle is there but we can knife around that okay oh good job so now you want to cut inside more since this is outside of the uh, magnifying glass so maybe just a little bit more than that just a smidge more inside than that. Like that? No, inside as in the blue line. Inside more, over here. Oh, Alright. Yeah, just like that. So then you just want to cut it. Is your hand in there? You know? Hands are heels. Okay. You want a decent, decent circle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. but. And... The projector will be a bit fuzzy when we show it on the wall. Yeah, but mostly because it's of the it's thing. it's homemade, so it doesn't really matter. It's still gonna work. Well, it's it depends how far you have it from the wall. If you have it like this, is the size of a a regular, let's say, thirty inch TV, it will be clear, be visible. If you try to have it like a hundred inch freaking home theater, then uh, yeah, that's not a very good idea. It, you can still like watch movies, but it's not going to be legible if any writing comes up. Is what do you expect from magnifying glass, there right? Yeah, that's. So yeah, that's what you'll get. Just that. I'll put this knife away before I hurt myself. Yeah. <laughs> Hot glue gun. Where? Shut up. Okay. Oh. So this is what you should have, and I'll just get the magnifying glass. I'm just gonna so plug in this hot glue gun. So we'll be just taping it over it like that. So that's what you'll be getting. As you can see, you kind of can see the projector coming out of it already. What's it get, like, looking like inside? See, there's my hand. Okay. 
Okay. You want to make sure you have a lid for your box, or it will not work. Yeah. It has to be completely dark inside the box, yep. or else it will create like it was a glare, a really awful glare. Our lid you won't sucks, but we'll probably just tape it up. Uh, yeah, I didn't do a very good job on the hole, but it'll still work. Yeah, if still you need good. to, you can smoothen it, smoothen it out a bit. Yeah. Okay. So that's that right now. Now this is when the hot glue gun comes in. Is it oh, heating up? Yeah, it's heating up. It's it's not warm yet. Getting there. Is it plugged in for sure? Yeah, it's plugged yep. in. Okay. So while that's heating up, we'll just uh, show you what we're going to do with the iPod or iPhone inside the box. Yeah, go ahead. This would be later on. I'm not going to do it right now. We're just going to show you what it's going to look like. So if this is your inside of your box, can you see if they have a good view? So if this is the inside of your box, you see where the hole is over there, I guess. That would be right here. You want to, when this. Oh, let's see. Here's the iPod. This is going to be. We're gonna tape it up over here like that. Uh, like more in the middle, obviously, like right there. So then the projection from the iPod or iPhone will be shooting into the magnifying glass. Yeah. And then it will be shooting out onto the wall. There's a small hole in the back, but that's okay because. Uh you it can, will have to be dark inside the box, but it'll be good. You can tape up all the holes too, like see. Yeah. There's a hole right down there. But that that won't cause too much distress. Oh man, this box smells like a factory. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's covered leather. Yeah. Well, that's where it's been, right? Yeah. Okay, how's it? Hot glue gun coming up. It's, it's just getting warm. It seems to okay, we'll, we'll come back when the hot glue gun's warm. Okay, we're back. Let me just a smidge. Okay, and uh, our hot glue gun is all heated up now. I hope I don't burn myself up. again. Yeah. <laughs> and we're ready to uh, put this onto the box. So, grab our box. With the hole that's already there. My amazingly crafted hole. Yeah. Great. Okay. Where's the magnifying glass? Over now, there. if you want, you can put it on the outside, or you could do it in the inside, so you don't see this huge magnifying glass. What do, what do we want to do, inside or outside? Outside, I think it would be a bit easier, but yeah, I, I, we're, we're not really keeping this thing, so yeah. oh. we're just giving it as a demonstration for you guys. Okay. So, we would just do something like... like that. You got a hot glue gun here. Is that... Is that a good, a good hole? Let's see. How can they see it right now? Is that good? Is that good? Yeah, yeah. You're good. If you have to, you'll tape it up because your hole might not be exact. One of us is going to have to hold it here. Is it going to be you? Oh my god. Steaming. Is glue falling out? Yeah, it is. So you don't, to get get my, don't get my finger. I'll try not to. Oh my god. We're gonna have to take some of these strings off too. Yeah, because you'll get strings over the uh, front. I think. Well, if they have used a hot glue gun before, I think they know that. Oh, maybe they haven't. Because I've never owned a hot glue gun in my life. Seriously? Yep. The, so one, that I, the one that we're using right now is mine. Yeah, I've never even. Owned one, used one, nothing. Okay. So while I'm holding here, slaving away, uh, I'm thinking the uh, when you put well, yeah, what would it be when you put the phone in the back? Uh, yeah, where like we were gonna say we're gonna tape it. Mm -hmm. Um, it might be a bit too far away from the lens, from the magnifying glass. So what you may have to do, we may have to make a stand in the middle of the box. I don't, I don't think we will have to. We might have we to. Might have to, because this box, like I said, you should use a shoe box. But this might be okay, because our box is a <laughs> bit too big. Well, the the lip inside the box, we could flip it up and then tape it there. See, we would be showing you this, but I have to hold this here. Actually, it's almost done. Oh, I had a piece of glue on my cheek. That's good. I'm piece of glue stuck one. to me. All right. 
Oh, god damn, I burnt myself now. Good job. See, I'm not the only one. It wasn't really hot anymore, it just kind of surprised me. Okay. Oh, I'm good. Alright. That's... Make you sure. may have to clean that thing, too. It'll just wipe it off on the inside. See, now there's a big hole right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, right there. Uh, you may have to cover that with some duct tape. So this we is when you do that. could bring your duct tape in. Well, I don't, we're not going to do that yet. Oh yeah, I can just do it, quickly do it right now. No, the no, tape's almost dry. The tape's almost dry? No. <laughs> you just said... Tape's almost dry. I mean, the glue is almost dry. Okay. You can't really see me here. It's good. It's not good. Nobody wants to see you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well. Okay. Now we just need to put in the tape, cover up. What'd you just do? To cover up the, uh,. Hole. So you want it basically a hundred and fifty percent dark in there. You don't want any. Well, that makes sense, okay? Completely accurate. Yeah. Don't ask questions. Okay. Butte. Butte. Man, doesn't this thing look legit? It looks kind of like a box with a magnifying glass tape to it. Exactly. Legit. Okay. So that hole's covered up. And we're getting okay. So now that's where you're, that's where we are right now. Now what we have to do is yeah. move this out of here for one second. Wait. We have to put the phone or iPod or whatever the hell you're using, something with a screen that can project something. If you have a movie on I'm it gonna, or something, I'm gonna take the case off, guys. Okay. You know. So we will test it. Uh, we're gonna quickly. Uh, See where we need to place it in the box, and then we'll come back to you guys and tell you. Yeah. Okay. So okay. We'll we'll be back in one sec. Okay, we have figured out where to put it in the box, where to put your phone in the box, and uh, it right at the back. That's where we found out. So. Yeah. You see it? You and if you if you actually get another box and it's longer than this one, that would be even better. Yeah, yes. the longer the box, the better it will work. That, and the, that kind of contradicts what we said at the beginning, but whatever. Yeah. Well, actually, well, no, not even longer the box. The farther of a distance you have. From the phone to the lens, which is the magnifying glass? No, no, glass. From the, actually from the lens to the wall. Also that as well. Yeah, that really helps. So how far you can get from the surface you're trying to display it on. Now, what we'll be showing you is the farthest that we can get. Yeah, we can't get too but, far. But. And if it's blurry, don't... Don't like hate on the invention. It, so. it it gets really clearer the farther you go away, and it get the bigger. For some reason, projectors don't really do this like normal projectors. And only the farther away you get, the blurrier it gets. This one, since there's really no focus, you can't really. There's no focus knob. The, actually, the farther away you get, and the bigger it gets, the more uh, the pure it, is. it gets. The, yeah, it's kind of pure. Weird. Pure. Pure. Yeah. Great. Okay. So. You mean you want to put your phone at the very back, right over here? That's what you want to do. Well, that's what we're gonna do, anyways. And it works a lot better, but we 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 just tested this, but we haven't taped the phone on, so that's I what we're, we're gonna show for you. Do that now, but we're, okay, we're not gonna so use the iPod anymore because it's not it's, bright enough. It's not bright enough. Yeah, we need. So to here's use the phone. you guys, well us. Here's you guys looking at us, looking at you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. So, this is what I guess. Okay. So, this is what I'm just going to have you know your normal iPhone screen. And, what we're going to do. Put, you need the duct tape, too. Yes, you do. So, I'm going to stand up. So, see over here, this is where we're going to be placing the phone. You have to have it up, not like this. You need to have it upside down because it comes through the lens upside down. So, that's what you'll need to do. So, you have it upside down. Oh, that hot glue gun stinks. I oh, know. Man, that's not good. Tape. Actually, could we use this piece of tape? Probably. Nah, that's good. We'll, we'll so, if you up. can't see right now, that's just going to be quite difficult getting this. We'll just tape the bottom and the top, right? Yeah. Let's rip. 
Here you go. Take that. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. It's good. Okay, I'm just gonna put a piece on it right here. Want to hold the phone in there? I can't see it. Here, Here, stand up, lazy this. bastard. <laughs> Shut up. Let's hold the phone, make sure it doesn't flop around. And then you grab your other piece and put it. Sorry if you can't see the phone, I can't really you know, try to make a clear view for you guys. You might do a better taping job than we did, so that's, that's okay. <laughs> that's good for now, what we got. Yeah. This is what it should look like. That's well, what you should get. Well, that's what we got, anyways. It 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 worked, it worked pretty well. I hope the tape doesn't like block the view. Not won't. This is not in the screen, right? Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're going to uh, stop this and then go into a testing of the projector. Okay. So we'll see you then. Okay. Well. Uh, we now know where to put it in the box, so it's going to be at the very back. Yeah, and uh, oh, that's exactly what you're about to say. Yeah, it's a, yeah, and it's supposed to be at the very back. And uh, we've we actually did a video right before this of testing it uh, from a farther away distance, because the farther away you get, the more clear it gets for some reason, but also the more dim it gets. So we had it, we thought it was going to be great, but you couldn't see it at all. You couldn't see anything I was naming off, like we are using my phone, right? And I was like, there's the app store, there's the photos, there's camera. You couldn't see it at all. Not even a smidge. We, we could see it great. Yeah, but we, we can see it amazing. It's just the camera couldn't at all. Don't know why. Yeah, it's just, it was too dim. You need a better camera. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh... So what we're going to do, it's going to be really fuzzy, probably can't make anything out, but just so you guys can see that it does work, we're going to have it closer to a surface. You won't be able to see, like, you'll see maybe, like, the blue and stuff of the, uh, the iPhone, like, main screen. Yeah, but, but you won't be able to, like, read anything on it, like, we had it there before, you were actually able, you could see stuff. But it was just too dim for the camera, so now it's going to be brighter because we're going to be closer, and but it's not going to be as clear, because you're going to be closer. So, that's what we're going to do for a test now. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll just I think we'll test just, it out. I think we're just going to put it on the wall over there, so. Yeah, just over there. So, once again, yeah, you just have it at the back, at the box, and, you know, if you guys do this, you will notice that it does work from a farther away distance a lot better. It's, it's, it's not hard to do. You just need, like, you don't even need the hot glue gun. We just did it for more support. You can you can just tape the magnifying glass under the box. It'll yeah. work. Just don't get the tape in in front of the lens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna try this test and with it closer. Remember, it's gonna be a bit fuzzy because we're close, but at least you actually be able to see it. Okay. So let's go. To the lights off. Yeah. Okay. So we uh have our test ready to go. Remember, it's gonna be fuzzy, so that's not what it's gonna look like when you guys do it from a farther back distance this is just so you guys can see that you can kind of see that it, it's actually coming up on the uh, wall and it's not this we're lying to you so here's what we're going to do he's going to come off that light and i'm just going to uh show you that it does pop up on this one isn't in focus at all right now but you can so, see that there's your phone that would be in the box you can see it works, just you can't really read it. And there is what it would come up as. So it does, as you can see, there's a bit of blue and stuff in there. Hopefully you can see it. So you can tell that it does show up. I just wish that we could get a better view of it in the dark, farther yeah. away. But then, see, that's what you would have. Here's your projector, and I'll just turn on the light. So, so this is what we just had. There's your phone inside. There's your projector. And it does work. We're just telling you now that it does. 
It's just the camera could not pick it up. And we had it pop up right here. The reason I'm not talking so much is because this was his idea. Yeah. So it does work. Just want to throw that out there. Okay, so we're just gonna come back with you guys in the conclusion of the video and then we'll see you guys then. Okay, so you guys saw our uh, projector test and yeah. you could see that it did pop up on the wall. It would be a lot better if it was farther back. Yes, yeah. you can't really take a recording of it if it's farther back because as you saw on the door, uh, that's what would happen. Yeah, like the one that we originally shot was on the door. You couldn't see anything, but it was legible. We could actually like read stuff, but it was just too dark for the camera to see it, as we've already explained. Yeah, that didn't uh, go as planned. Yeah, but whatever. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this was our uh, our second video. Hopefully, you guys can uh, check back at our first one. And the, uh, if you if you want, to. yeah, if you, you want, don't, you don't have to. Yeah. Uh, um, it, it, it would really help us a lot. Even even if you uh, don't like or subscribe, just viewing would help us. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for the support. Yeah, well, hopefully you like and subscribe and check out the other videos. And, uh, oh, and our, la stuff our, yeah, our last video, we did make a, uh, a crossbow, which we can show you right now, too. It's, it's right here. Yeah. We're not going to shoot it, but we did last video, so yeah. if you want to see that, you can and check that one out. Yeah, we found out that marker caps work better. Remember that marker caps work better other than what we had in the shooting test of that video, which was this. This is a pen cap. Yeah, pen cap. This Where's one my just, red pen? This one just lobbed, like just lobbed right out and it was, it was pretty bad. Yeah. This one actually kind of packs a punch. It actually kind of stung when you shot me with it today. So You asked me to. Yeah, I did. Don't blame me. <laughs> okay. Right. So, so. Uh, we don't want to drag this along any further. So uh, we are TJ How-Tos, and we're out.